hello and welcome back to another video as you can see we are doing another sketchbook video so i started this not too long ago with um our first front cover which was this title page here i've still yet to write the art of lucy locks in there but i mentioned that i was going to make this into a series it's not going to be filming every single page because as it's my sketchbook i'd like to just be sketching in that off camera sometimes so I don't burn myself out um but a lot of these pages will be will be filmed and hence this video we are going to be filming another page today I thought we would not only have a sketchbook video but also do a little bit of a from scratch making of some stickers so I'm thinking I'm going to show you my sketching process as usual in here and then show you the process through to making some stickers on my Cricut um, that I can give to fr friends and family and potentially sell in the future so I thought that was that would be what we would do in this video and I'm actually going to be heading off to the coffee shop soon just to sit and do some sketching so I thought I'd bring you along there and um, we can do a little bit of the sketching there maybe finish a few of the ideas that I have and then um, come back and finish it off and then get on to making the stickers from the images so I just thought I would bring you along on that journey so
that is the robins finished i must admit after the third one i was a bit like do i just do three because <laughs> i really wasn't feeling it i didn't want to do any more because i went with a much more realistic style than i'd actually envisage envisaged when i first started this i was going to be a bit more loose i was going to do some washes and then just a little bit of pencil over the top just to kind of signify the feathers and i ended up going a little bit over the top um i mean i'm not unhappy with it if i look at these from the distance like you can see here i'm really really pleased with the way they look um i really like that some of them are a little bit different in color so you've got like this more periwinkle blue going on here and then a little bit more of a cooler blue um or an ultramarine and i just liked how they were all different colors um I use Pexels for my reference photos and I love that reference site. I've been using that for years um, and it's just always got a really good range of reference images that you can use for free. So I highly recommend using that if you're going to use reference Im images. Um, as you saw, I used a wash of watercolour for the base colours and they are predominantly Winsor & Newton Cotsman watercolours in there. And then I went over with my Arteza um, pencil, coloured pencils, which um, worked really well. They laid over the, the watercolours really well and added a lot more depth to these. This paper actually holds up surprisingly well. It starts to bow with a lot of water and then it does flatten out again. It's absolutely fine so i'm actually really pleased with this paper and um, it's really good for these mediums and like i said at the start i'm actually going to scan these in at um my printer actually goes up to 1200 dpi so i think i will scan in at that it's going to be a large file just to make sure i get all the detail then i'm going to get my girlfriend to clean these up just cut them out um and maybe alter the colours if it's scanned in wrong, which I shouldn't do. Um, change it to CMYK because we are going to print. Um, and then I will print those out via my Cricut software, which I will um, hopefully do a screen record. If you don't see that, I haven't managed to do a screen record of that. Um, but I will show you them cutting out on my Cricut and we can um, see what the finished stickers look like. So I'll take you through a bit of that process um, with a few time lapses and screen records if I can and we will see what these turn out like.
one's cut out. As you could see, I'd, I've actually created two other sticker sheets, which I've not made available or anything, so I'm just tweaking them. Um, so that was really easy to just change this to look how I want it to look for this particular sticker sheet, which is good. And then we have cut out the stickers. So this is actually, I think this is my fourth cut. The first two cuts I did, my calibration for my Cricut was slightly off, so it was cutting with a really large edge. I'll get one to show you. So as you can see here, it's cut the um, white a bit close to the head and the feet and then it's a bit wider on this end. Um, this one's probably the most noticeable. Um, so yes, I had to do a bit of calibration and then I noticed there's a few streaks in my printer which I still am yet to, to kind of tweak a little bit but it's not too noticeable at the moment and I'm not selling these yet so that's not a problem. And then this last page which I'm actually showing on camera now annoyingly actually had a big scratch in the sticker paper which I hadn't noticed so annoyingly that is there and also my mat is so unsticky it's covered in cat hair and I don't know how that's happened but it is it needs a clean and so my um, cutter actually ruffled up this sticker here but it doesn't look too bad I've got plenty that I've cut out now I have a full stack um, of uh, three sets here which is good so and then there's another three sets on this page um, so we've got plenty to play around with and I'm going to gift a few of these this Christmas which is nice um, so let's peel some of these off um, so yeah, a lot of the Cricut stuff is a bit of trial and error sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you probably end up troubleshooting more than you end up cutting things. Um, but that's fine. I've done this on glossy, glossy sticker paper, which I got from online labels, which I know a lot of sticker makers use for glossy paper because glossy is notorious for reflecting the... Um, the light that the Cricut uses to sense where it needs to cut. And so um, people have found out that the online labels glossy paper is perfect. It doesn't reflect, refract the light too much. And so it allows it to print properly, um, which I've also found. Um, not that I've tr tried any others, but I kind of just went with what everyone said and it seems to work fine for me as well. Um, I used to always think that I prefer matte paper, but I did some stickers on matte and I must admit the colors just feel really dull. And so I, I, I do much prefer the glossy paper. So we have a few sets here. So I'm just going to organize these into their types so that we can shove them in their, um, in their sticker packs. I'm just gonna move a few of them, the ones that are a bit damaged from the cricket or from scratches and or misprints. Yeah, yeah, I think this went really well actually. And all in all, um, I did a little bit yesterday and I did most of it today, but I think I could have done it all in one day. So all in all, I, I basically designed, painted, um, and then my girlfriend cleaned it up because she she's way better at Photoshop than me. And it would have taken me about four times as long to do it on my uh, Procreate app on my iPad. So I just asked if she would help me out. But with that happening and cutting, um, I've made an entire sticker sheet in one day, basically. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. I think it's good going and... Um, I think these are almost at this point to be able to sell them. So um, this next year, I'm hoping to um, put some of these up for sale. It's one of my goals, which you will see a 2022 goal video um, where I'm going to talk about what I want to do in 2022 to do with my art and making stickers and selling them is definitely one of the things um like i mentioned i have been making other sticker sheets i'm not going to show you the actual stickers but i've got a sticker pack called fun guys and then a woodland wonders pack um and then this rockin robins pack is going to add to that and i will do like a sticker launch maybe um and i think i think i'm i'm really pleased with how these are going going um are coming out they're really looking good and um, so this backing is i'm following the same vibe that i've gone for all of these rockin robin sticker pack with my branding at the bottom and then i kind of do a bit of a faded image on the background to kind of match what the sticker is so for this one i kind of did a bit of a snowy background um because i always associate i know robins are around all year round but i always associate robins with winter um just because of the whole christmas robin sort of vibe you get so We'll put one of each of these stickers in here. Like that. And there we have it. A nice 
little set of robins from start to, to finish. So I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy seeing me make a product from scratch, please hit that thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to make another video similar to this, making a different product, just let me know. Um, and I really appreciate all your support. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.